Brzezowski. I'm Mike Hewitt. And uh, we're talking to you from uh, Dev Jam and OpenMS Dev Jam 2012 in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, this is our seventh Dev Jam. Uh, and Mike has been, and I have been at every single one. Every single one. So uh, we're the old timers, I guess. Yeah. We love uh, Dev Jam, is one of our favorite times of the year because it's the one time when we get to see the rest of the core of the developers for the OpenMS project. Yeah, it's been a great time. Uh, we've got interns from North Carolina State University. We've got Antonio from, from, from Italy. And yeah, Folda, people from Folda, people from. Uh, uh, all over the world, actually. Montreal. Yeah, and Montreal. We had some UK, guys from California. Switzerland uh, slash France slash Germany. Yeah, yeah, however you want to say that. So anyway, a lot of people here. Uh, we also had, in conjunction with this, a users conference that had uh, three days of uh, t different kinds of training and discussion about case studies and how people use OpenMS out in the real world. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's been... Really help. Um, customers and perspective customers and users of OpenMS. So. Yeah, to introduce myself, um, I'm not a guy who does OpenMS in the real world. I'm a developer, so <laughs> I don't really know how it works at all. I just write the code. So. And, and I'm, I'm a user who dabbles with code once in a great while. Uh, <laughs> try to. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're just here to, you know, enjoy meeting all the people that have been involved in the project and contribute so much to yeah. it. So. Yeah, we got to... Um, we got to see some great code get written. We got to see the near real-time grapher start to really lift off, and that was a real team effort. I don't know. Yeah. Did you have, did you have a finger in that at all? Or? Uh, I just have had a couple of t chats with the guys who are doing it. Yeah. That's pretty much all. So like Donald, I know Matt Rikowski, um, Marcus Newman. Uh, there's all. I mean, it's it's yeah, been yeah. a very diverse cross section of the community. And it's just interesting to watch. The dynamic, especially that piece of the code, mm -hmm. kind of evolve. I thought. Yeah. Well, you know what's even interesting is uh, I'm coaching a Google Summer of Code student who's yeah. doing some graphing, and they really love the graphs that he's written. So they're going to uh, be ended up using his graphs for the topology. Well, so I heard so, the D3 uh, stuff. That's gonna be really neat. I was going to slip into that side of the code, and that's that's pretty cool stuff to see. Yeah. The other major effort to see, I thought, was interesting was. Uh, Really um, watching the guys from Montreal, from Data of LA, come mm -hmm. in here and, and and really get into some some good code and get some good help from from the folks here. Yeah, they just jumped right in and started coding up cool stuff. And and there were some guys from Juniper that were the same. They were doing a bunch of stuff that it wasn't fancy, pretty gooey stuff, you know, which is what everybody gets excited about. But it still, was just as hard and just as interesting. So. Yeah, yeah, it's good to see. You know what I thought was cool? Bill Ayers. You yeah. Know, Bill Ayers has been to every Dev Jam also. Yep. But he's retired. You know, he, he used to work at Oregon State University managing their network, and he's retired. And every year he says, oh, this is my last Dev Jam. I'm retiring. And then, and then every year he shows up. So he was here this year again, and he, he nice actually see, Bill. dug in and fixed some bugs, and he's got a... Uh, well, DJ Greg. Yeah, DJ Greg. He took, took a break, and, mm -hmm. and he's back, and... And he uh, killed and squashed a couple bugs too. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool.